Um, my name is Kurt Schaubach. I'm the CTO for Federated Wireless. And Federated has been around since uh, 2012, actually. The company was started in conjunction with Allied Mines, who is our principal investor. And uh, the foundation of the company is about increasing utilization of spectrum and specifically focusing on shared spectrum bands and developing of new technologies that uh, can enable the spectrum revolution and solve the spectrum crunch. Um, so our um, our investors, Allied Minds, worked with a number of academics and scientists in the area of spectrum research, cognitive radio technology, um, uh, spectrum database technology, and even uh, individuals who've been doing a lot of work within the, the DOD or other parts of the um, federal government to help develop spectrum strategy. And in fact, one of our founders sat on the President's Committee for Advisors on Science and Technology, which was one of the, um, the report that came out of PCAST, was one of the key um, uh, motivations and sort of stimulus for uh, creating the new shared spectrum band that Federated is focused on. Um, our company is 35 people currently, and we have uh, a headquarters is in Arlington, Virginia, with offices in Boston and Sunnyvale. And you mentioned the shared spectrum revolution. You're going to be giving a talk titled that. Why is it a revolution? Well, you know, it's really a, a whole new paradigm for spectrum use because today the, the models that currently exist are either exclusive licensed spectrum or unlicensed spectrum. And really, um, Shared spectrum extracts the benefits of both the sort of the licensed spectrum framework as well as the unlicensed spectrum framework. So giving the, the quality, um, high quality experience, the um, predictability that comes along with um, licensed spectrum, but the sort of uh, frictionless acts, aspects of access that uh, comes along with unlicensed. And you were kind of on the ground floor, your, your company was on the ground floor of kind of setting the standards with the government. Can you tell me a little bit about that process? Sure. So, um, as I indicated, the company was started in 2012, which was right around the time that the FCC and the DOD began looking seriously at uh, the three and a half gigahertz band, this 150 megahertz of spectrum that was allocated in April of this year through the FCC report and order. So they were instrumental in creating the three-tier framework that is um, the underpinning of the, of the three and a half gigahertz rules. Um, they work closely with the DOD and other entities to get them comfortable with how uh, federal incumbents would be protected, addressing concerns about operational security uh, that obviously the federal users have um, in terms of commercial access to use of the spectrum and even help work, uh, working with NTIA and other agencies to um, ultimately unlock uh, access to spectrum in the um, areas where um, uh, the Navy, uh, as one of the primary incumbents, um, uh, accesses the spectrum near the coastal areas, um, turning these coastal exclusion zones into dynamic protection zones.